Deuteronomy 21.16 Vehaya beyom hanchilo et banav, et asher yehielo, lo yuchal levaker et ben ha'ahuva al pene ven hasenua habechor. So we get here now the then statement of this if-then. So again, previously, if a husband had two wives and they both bore him sons, there was a loved wife and an unloved wife, and they both had sons. Then, then it shall come about, here's a call perfect third masculine singular plus the vow of consecutive. So we have the vecatal form. Then it shall come about on the day of his giving the inheritance his sons. Now, this is a little bit awkward. Let's try to work this out. We've got a hifil infinitive construct here plus a third masculine singular pronominal suffix. Notice this one is singular. Then we have the direct object marker with his sons, and notice now we get the plural pronominal suffix. Now, with the hifil, we get this idea of giving his inheritance to his sons or giving his sons his inheritance. And so notice that sons is plural, but inheritance is singular. So there's only one inheritance to give, which means this his giving of the inheritance must be the act that the man is doing. Now, all of this creates a temporal clause. On the day of his giving would be something like on the day when he gives the inheritance or assigns his sons his inheritance. Next, we get another direct object marker, further defining what this inheritance is, that which belongs or exists to him. Call imperfect third masculine singular of haya. Next, we get the negation. He is not able, there's a call imperfect third masculine singular of the verbal root yod kaf lamed. And that one morphs a little differently. You see this shurik dropping in here, yuchal. He is not able to choose, here's the PL infinitive construct plus a lamid preposition of Beit Kaf, uh, Beit Kaf Aresh. He is not able to choose the son of the loved wife, there's that passive participle again, upon the face of, or we might say something like over against, instead of the son of the hated wife, again, passive participle there. And then we get this just final statement, the firstborn. And this would be something like, the firstborn he is.